John 18. When Jesus concluded his prayer, he and his disciples crossed over the brook Kidron into a garden. Judas, who betrayed him, was familiar with this place since Jesus often gathered there with his disciples. Judas was given a Roman military cohort of about 600 soldiers to accompany him. They came together with temple officers from the chief priests and Pharisees with torches, lanterns, and their weapons. Jesus, fully aware of everything that was coming upon him, went forward to meet them and said, Who are you seeking? They said to him, Jesus the Nazarene. And Jesus answered, Here I am. And there Judas was, standing with them. Just when Jesus said, I am, they stumbled backwards and fell to the ground. He asked them again, Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said, I already told you who I am. If it is me you are after, then let the others go. He said this to confirm to his disciples that he would protect them so that none of them would be implicated. Simon Peter thought it was a good idea to defend themselves and drew his sword and struck at the high priest's servant, who ducked away and luckily for him only lost an ear. Jesus told Peter to put away the sword and said, Do you think that I am not going to drink this cup the Father gave me? Then the soldiers, under the captain's command, together with the Jewish police, arrested Jesus and tied him up. They first took him to Annas, the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who advised the Jews that in order to save the entire nation, it was inevitable that one person should die. Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. The high priest knew the one disciple, and he was allowed to enter the courtyard. Peter remained outside at the entrance. Then the other disciple who knew the high priest went to speak to the lady at the door and asked permission for Peter to join him inside. The lady who guarded the door said to Peter, Are you not also one of this man's disciples? He said, No, I'm not. The slaves and temple police were huddled around a coal fire to warm themselves. Peter also joined them to get out of the cold. The high priest then began to question Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus replied, I have spoken openly to the world and frequently taught in the synagogues to a Jewish audience and have said nothing in secret. Why would you question me? Talk to my audience if you wish to find out about my teaching. They are familiar with what I teach. When he said this, one of the temple police slapped him in the face and scolded, how dare you speak to the high priest in this manner? Jesus answered, If I said anything evil, then tell me. But if I have spoken only that which is beautiful, why do you strike me? Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. In the meantime, Peter was still warming himself at the fire when he was asked again if he was not one of the disciples of Jesus. He emphatically objected and said he was not. Then a relative of Malchus, whose ear Peter chopped off, also recognized him and said, Did I not see you with him in the garden? And Peter disclaimed it, and just then the cock crowed. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas into the praetorium, the Roman governor's judgment hall. It was still early in the day, so the Jews didn't go into the courtroom for fear of contracting some impurity, which would have obliged them to separate themselves from eating the Passover. Then Pilate went outside to face them and asked, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered, If he wasn't an evildoer, we wouldn't have wasted your time with this court case in the first place. Then Pilate said, Take him and judge him according to your law. They said, Our law does not allow the death sentence. This was also to confirm what Jesus said about his manner of death. Then Pilate went back into the courtroom and summoned Jesus to him and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus responded, Are these your own thoughts or did others suggest this about me? Pilate replied, Am I a Jew? Why would I bother to speculate about you? 
Your own people and priests handed you over to me. What have you done to make them do this? Jesus answered, My kingdom has nothing in common with the political or religious systems of this world. It does not originate out of their structures. If it did, my subordinates would fight for me and resist my handover to the Jews. Pilate then said, So you are a king. Jesus replied, You say that I am a king. My destiny was to be born in the flesh, and for this purpose I have come into the world to bear testimony to the truth. Everyone who recognizes their true origin hears my voice. Pilate then asked him, What is truth? Without giving him a chance to respond, he went outside again to face the Sanhedrin and said to them, I find no cause for any accusation in this man, but since it is custom that I should release one of your prisoners during your festive time, would you be happy for me to pardon the king of the Jews for this Passover? They shouted back, No, not this one, but Barabbas. Barabbas was a Jewish freedom fighter, probably the leader of a band which included the other two who were crucified with Jesus.